Hey, good morning. This is John on a little stroll up here in the beautiful Hudson Valley. Beautiful, uh, balmy day. Oh, cow droppings. That there's how you know using the country, son. And, uh, yeah, my neighbor over here has cows. And, uh, it's beautiful up here today. Little balmy. It's like a little bit of the islands. Flew into upstate New York. It's beautiful down here. If it gets really windy and a rusty man fall in my yard, that's when I know that it's a hurricane down in the tropics. So uh, here's my neighbor's farm. And uh, his cows were just out on the road. I wonder why the hell they went. Um, maybe the butcher was coming. Uh, so I got up this morning and uh, was feeling a little wonky for a couple of reasons. Number one, I, I walked too much yesterday. And so now my big toe looks like a giant Concord grape. But that's all right. That's why I'm walking nice and flat today. No more hills today. And I read this. Uh, I was feeling a little wonky, if that's even a word. I believe it's from the I believe it's British so responsible for the word wonky. Yes, wonky. Blah, blah. Don't give the wonka to the colonists. And I read this line in A Course in Miracles. Every time I open that book, it's like that one page, that one line, that one little gem was made for exactly that moment. And it said, if you are not completely content and at peace, it is because you have not chosen to be completely in content and at peace. God's will is that you are at peace. And if, you, and if you're not, it's because you disobeyed one of his laws. Uh, you can disobey his laws, but you can't escape them. Because they were made for your protection. I thought, oh, it's kind of cool. It's like a safety net. And at the same time, I want to go, a little pushy, aren't you there, God? Huh? Telling me what I can and can't do. So, um, I remembered the three P's. Three P's. Practice, patience, perseverance. Practice, patience, perseverance. A violin player once stopped. I know this is an old joke, right? I'm, re I'm upcycling some old material. A violin player stops a cab driver in New York City. And he asks the cabbie, can you tell me how to get to Carnegie Hall? <laughs> and the cabbie says, yeah, practice, practice, practice. So that's the, that's the name of the game through this entire process, through this, for me, you, you can, you can use it if you like. Um, you know that old saying, smart people learn from their mistakes and really smart people learn from your mistakes. So learn from my mistakes. I've been doing this a long time, and I mean this, not, not my career, this. Um, I've, been, I've been practicing, practicing, practicing. If you want to have peace, you need to teach peace, to learn peace. Oh, there are the cows. Okay, they made it all the way over here. Good for them. They were just out uh, on the roadway, running around. Taking a big dump in my pathway. Oh, hey, do that again. I'll make you a ribeye. Practice patience, perseverance. It pays off these um, cycles, uh, these, these vacillations. Peace never vacillates, ever, 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 ever. Your or my ability to choose it vacillates so to teach means to demonstrate it doesn't mean what you do per se in form it means the content of what you're teaching for instance we've all had teachers in our lives you can i'm sure you recall them right now your favorite teacher and your teacher you hated the most growing up as a kid i, I they're popping into my head right now i don't want to tell you why no i'm only kidding um, Miss Brennan, my God, 
I, I don't remember a thing she taught, but I loved her. Mr. Dritoller, jackass, douchebag. So that's what I mean to teach is to demonstrate the form of what they taught. I have no recollection of, but how they taught it is still with me today. It's, it resonates <clears throat> emotionally with me today. Whenever I think of either one of those people, their teaching was consistent in form and in content. So whatever you choose to teach, even if you're, let's say you're teaching something that's a peaceful curriculum. If you are not at peace, you're actually teaching a conflicted goal. And obviously, conflicted goals are going to create anxiety. I think everybody understands that. So whatever you're teaching throughout your day, if you're not demonstrating peace within yourself, you're, you're not learning it for yourself, nor are you extending it. So you have to put your oxygen mask on first. We've all heard that. Uh, if you've flown it in a, a, ever, actually in the last 10 years, you've heard your oxygen mask maybe 20 years, your oxygen mask has to go on first. So on this day, practice your peace and teach your peace by demonstrating it. And then you'll find it's not just yours, it belongs to everyone. And that is how we're going to get through this horror show. Have a great day. And you know what? Who cares? Even if it does rain, I don't care. It's beautiful. It's not going to rain on my parade. You know why? Practice patience, perseverance. Lee.